law enforcement says Backpage is the prime way pimps sell kids for sex. So tonight we're asking the question many are asking, why the attorney general doesn't insist her husband stop doing business with Backpage.com. Point Six investigator Dan Tilkin is here. Dan, Ellen Rosenblum seems to be caught in a contradiction. Uh, call it her back page problem. As the top law enforcement officer for the state, her staff is working right now to pass legislation in Salem to combat human trafficking. And we've learned Rosa Blum recently asked Congress to crack down on Backpage.com. But at the same time, her husband is in business with Backpage and has been for years. A man in jail accused of selling a 16-year-old for sex online. There are so many examples. Prosecutors say that he forced four women and two underage girls into prostitution. Each was something in common. The website Backpage.com. Forced them to advertise sex on Backpage.com. The website Backpage.com. 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 It's no wonder Ellen Rosenblum did what she did last week as the keynote speaker at a crime victims forum. As she often does, she talked about human trafficking. Over the past several years, we have gained a better understanding of crimes like sexual assault, domestic violence, and human trafficking. Go back three years, it was a cornerstone of her campaign. Listen to audio from her speech to Washington County Democrats. And to my surprise, the Attorney General's office isn't involved at all right now in sex trafficking. That's going to change under my watch. I'm going to be working very closely with all of the agencies that are involved to make sure that we eradicate sex trafficking in this state. It's outrageous, and I'm not going to tolerate it. Rosenblum's husband is this man, Richard Meeker. Meeker owns Willamette Week newspaper. If you click on the classified section on the website, you come to a list of ads, including job postings like this one for Coin TV. Meeker told me these ads are hosted for Willamette Week by Backpage.com. If you click on the links on the right side of the web page, you're taken to the full Backpage.com site, and there you see the ads that cause law enforcement such concern. In a Coin6 follow-up, the city of Portland is joining a lawsuit against the website Backpage.com. A lawsuit argues Backpage.com knowingly promotes sex trafficking. In recent court documents obtained by Coin6, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says pimps and predatory offenders are aware that escort ads on Backpage.com provide a marketplace of young girls and boys to purchase for rape. They write, a majority of the child sex trafficking cases being reported to the center now involve ads posted on Backpage.com. We asked to interview Rosenblum about her connection to Backpage. She refused. Hi, Attorney General. How are you? I'm doing How are you? well. So we went to talk to her after she spoke at the Victims' Rights event. Surely you've got time just to talk to us about your connections to Backpage.com. I have a plane to catch. Why won't you talk to us about Backpage.com? I don't know anything about what you're talking about about Backpage. Yes, you do. I've talked to you about this story three years ago. Your husband is in business with Backpage. I first asked Rosenblum and her husband about their connection to Backpage when she ran for office in 2012. That's when her husband asked Backpage to remove escort ads from the Willamette Week's website, which Backpage did. But he has continued to be in business with Backpage. It takes one click on your husband's website to get to the ads that you talk about trying to eliminate. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. I don't click onto my husband's website. Coin6 discovered Rosenblum is fully aware of the ads on Backpage. This is her signature on a letter signed in October. It's from the National Association of Attorneys General. It urges Congress to pass the SAVE Act. Stop advertising victims of exploitation, a potential law to help in the eradication of human trafficking. The letter specifically talks about how websites such as Backpage.com has created virtual brothels where children are bought and sold using euphemistic labels such as escorts. And we have a, a woman in a considerable position in the state claiming ignorance about what her husband is involved in. I mean, that's a, that's a problem for me. Patricia Barrera has spent years working with women in Portland to get them out of prostitution. In fact, she recently applied for a position she didn't get with the Attorney General as the Commercial Sexual Exploitation of Children Intervention Coordinator. 
Barrera showed us her file she's kept on Willamette Week going back 15 years. It includes a letter written to Willamette Week asking the paper to stop taking advertisements for the sex industry. You have a decision to make about your choices. And as a business who has incredible power, the Willamette Week is a significant publication in Portland. Uh, and what they do matters. Why did you sign this letter? The National Association of Attorneys General is asking for Congress to crack down on Backpage if you don't know anything about it. Oh, but they should crack down on the part of Backpage that do, that runs bad ads in in newspapers or magazines that my husband does not do. Okay? You, don't, you don't think it's hypocritical for you to be asking a Congress to crack down on Backpage not at all. and your husband to be in business with Backpage? Not at all, because Backpage is the only company that provides classifieds that are not the type that you're talking about for newsweeklies. And that's what my husband has explained that to you several times. And you just don't want to buy that. You don't want to accept that. And I'm really sorry. And I have nothing else to say. Willamette Week could hire another company to host its classifieds, but at a greater cost than Backpage. Richard Meeker turned down my request for an interview, but in an email, he did say, I do everything in my power not to be involved in my wife's position. That includes not talking to reporters here about their coverage of her office. He did tell us the ability to get adult ads with just one click, that will be removed by the end of the month. You know, and also when I brought the, to the attention of the folks here at HR at COIN that we had actually advertised on Backpage, they didn't know what was going on here, and they have removed those ads. We're no longer using Backpage. Okay, you talked to a number of people in law enforcement and social agencies about this situation. What are they saying? Well, what I heard over and over again from these folks in law enforcement and, and social services, please do the story, bring it to light. But uh, these same people, they're not willing to go on the record to criticize Rosenblum and Willamette Week publicly. They are simply concerned about political blowback. Now, one final note. Yeah. People may have missed this. Ellen Rosenblum recently announced she is running for re-election. Mm. And you said this in the story, too. Th this is something you've been working on for a long time. When she ran for office in 2012, she sent me a statement about this and then claims now that she didn't know what I was talking about. Mm. And if anyone missed this story, it'll air again tonight at 11 o'clock. Correct. Thanks, Dan. And keep following it, Dan. Mm -hmm. All right.